Uh, breaking news in the Middle East, where Iran's largest warship, the Karg, caught fire and sunk in the Gulf of Oman earlier today. Uh, the cargo is used to supply Iranian Navy ships at sea as well as to conduct training missions. Iranian officials have not yet given a cause for the fire, but said an investigation has begun. Joining me now, NBC News Tehran Bureau Chief Ali Aruzi. Uh, Ali, quite an interesting development there. What more can you tell us about what happened today and what officials in Iran are saying, if anything? Uh, hey, Eamon. Well, the Iranian Navy's largest warship, the Khark, caught fire and then sank in the Gulf of Oman this morning after being on fire for about 24 hours. Now, there were no fatalities and about 30 people suffered minor burns. Uh, the circumstances aren't particularly clear and very little information has been released. But initial reports seem to suggest a fire broke out in the engine room that ultimately couldn't be contained. Now, this incident does come at a time when tensions between Iran and Israel are running high over their nuclear program and regional influence. And there's been a string of attacks against Iranian assets that Tehran blames Israel for. But at this stage, it doesn't seem to be some sort of nefarious sabotage operation. Firstly, the ship was old. Iran bought it from the UK in 1977. Secondly, the Iranian Navy has a disastrous maritime record. Just last year, during a training exercise, they torpedoed one of their own boats, killing 19 sailors. Also, if officials here thought that this bore the hallmarks of a Mossad operation, they would be screaming for revenge right now. And Eamon, just very quickly, and in another strangely timed incident, there was a massive fire today at a refinery in Tehran. Uh, that fire is still raging as we speak. Authorities say that that was an accident as well.